Okay, good afternoon everybody. While I'm listening with my Linkin Park soundtrack while I'm working on my ebook, I received this email from Engineer Rashad and he is confused with road lighting boom length using Dialux Evo software as I do because it's really confusing but I get used to it and um yeah so this is his email he said architect nel Karoko, since we have standard boom lengths 0 0.5 0 0.8 0 0.9 1 0 1.2 and so on then why does the dialog software developer wants us to play with the light overhang values by guesswork to get the accurate required standard boom lengths whereas we used to put bl values in previous versions Yes, Engineer Rashad. Uh, the, unfortunately, the complication of using Dialux Evo is now much worse compared before because the Dialux regular, the 4.13, is much easier to use in terms of road lighting. Um, yeah, we need to play with the overhang and everything before we get the boom length. Okay, so uh, Engineer Rashad sent us this PDF file. And um, oh, let me just show you what is what he means by that. Maybe because you are also confused. Okay, so let's go and open the Dialux Evo now. Okay, so let's go now and directly to go and directly to street lighting. And then we will just use this default road lighting here. Okay, the road, the default road. And then I will just add the path walk because this is very important to show you what we mean by it's so confusing using this road lighting in terms of creating the boom length and then i will just import one of the fitting here and okay let's just put it on the other side so you will see it in the proportion on the path walk okay so um engineer rashad wants to have let's say 2.5 and 1 meter on off boom length on the poles and what you're seeing right now is i have a boom length of zero and if I want to change it into 2.5 as per what he wants, look what will happen. Boom. <laughs> okay. So this is the complication of this uh, Dialux Evo in terms of road lighting. Because instead of uh, extending the bracket or the boom length of this pole going to the roadway, the pole is the one who goes backward, which is really, really annoying okay so that's how it goes yeah i don't know why this dialogue team did not notice this one i don't know because maybe it's hard to program or maybe they notice it now because i uh, somebody is now complaining we're not complaining it's a free software but to make everything so nice and free to use so can you please just resolve this one and if i really want to have say for example one meter of uh, one meter distance of this pole to the roadway I will just say for example add this um, type one meter here yeah and what will happen to my boom length is gone so I now have my one meter distance from the roadway this pole is one meter distance from the roadway but my boom, boom length becomes less and if I want to go back it into 2.5 meters again <laughs> it goes backward so that's why it's really difficult so if i want to do that i need to play with the overhang which is say for example one meter 2.5 so i'll just say for example um two meters yeah so you can see now that i still have my boom length um 2.5 meters correct and the pole distance from the roadway is 1.006 okay perfect so what happened is i just played with the overhang instead of just putting the boom length of one meter so that's why it's really really complicated and if I want to have a precise pole distance from the roadway I need to add again a point something on the overhang say there you go so I, I need to put uh, one 2.006 light overhang to get my precise 2.5 meter boom length and one meter pole distance from the roadway so it will depends all everything in the light overhang which is uh, very tiring to minus and add why why do they okay so this is just my suggestion why the dialogue team can just make it like 
indicate the distance of the pole to the roadway. So once we indicate that, for example, one meter, then it will fix there, okay? And then if I add the boom length, can you please make it forward to the roadway instead of making this pole backward? Because engineer Rashad and me is really not that smart to solve these complicated things. So, um, yeah, that's what, uh, what we are suffering right now. And maybe it's not only me or engineer Rashad that is um, experiencing this one, but um, if you have something to say, yeah, please add in the comment section, all right? And uh, say, for example, he wants another trial to get the one meter overhang or boom length. Sorry, it's boom length. So if I change it into one meter, look what will happen. Okay, I will make it like this. So if I want to change the boom length into one meter, what will happen is, ta-da, the pole goes to the roadway, which is very wrong. So the please, dialog team, make the pole position the fixed one, and then everything will be adjusted, the boom length and angle and the light overhang. Let this pole be fixed <laughs> once we establish the pole let the movement of the of the boom length and everything to be the one to be moved instead of the pole okay so again this is very difficult to get again this boom boom length of one meter and pole distance of um one meter from the pathwalk or the roadway then I need to adjust again the light overhang, which is say 0 0.5, 0 0.506 because there is, yeah. So now I have the precise boom length of one meter and pole distance of road, roadway of one meter. So maybe you are asking why there is 0 0.506 on it on, on this one because it again depend on the size of your luminaire because sometimes the fitting is uh, a little longer and uh, the Dialax Evo is looking at the center of the photometric, not on the fitting. Oh no, it's on the bracket, not actually on the fitting. It's on the bracket. So that's why it's like that. Okay. So yeah, in Engineer Rashad, this is also happening to me and it's really annoying. So I hope that Dialax team will check this one and yeah. We just hope that they will solve it soon on the next version because this is a soft, uh, free software and we cannot do anything about it. We just need to suggest or complain sometimes. All right, so I hope you learned something today. I, yeah, I, I cannot solve anything. Uh, I cannot solve the problem you have right now, but I'm just telling you that it's not only your problem, it's everybody's problem because it's the software style of doing things okay so yes maybe see you again on the next video and if you want to learn more and uh, uh yeah if you want to learn more about this road lighting design techniques go and visit my udemy course road lighting design techniques yes i got a 3.8 star rating because uh, i messed up with some of my students because i delayed the loading of other videos but this is a great course because i added um i added the amazing ebooks on this course so go and grab this one okay all right so see you again on the next video